We made our first vintage in 1990, second one in 1991, little bit in 92, and then the great vintage was 93. The mist moved nicely, seamlessly around the Tokai Hill and, uh, and entrapped all our vineyards. And so we made a really rich wine in 93. And then we suddenly realized that you couldn't produce a vintage every year. One in three, they said, historically. But when you're starting, you actually haven't any idea when that one in three is going to be. And so for the first 12 years, we only produced Azu wines. We wanted to be known, to make our name, to get the perception that we were producing uniquely Azu wines, not in every year. Last five or six years, we've realized that as we cannot produce an Azu wine in every year, we need to produce wines we can produce in every year. And that's very much where the mad cuvee, the late harvest comes in, and the dry ferment. So there is continuity now every year. There will be wines of Royal Tokai.